We're excited to be here. We do want to thank our sponsor, Low Real Estate, for providing the food and for sponsoring today's events. So uh, we are extremely excited for this football season. And I just want to, again, say I'm excited to be here and look forward to serving you in my role. So now I'd like to turn your attention to Coach McCook, and he's going to talk about the upcoming season and talk about some of our exceptional student athletes. Go Rams. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'd like to start out one by there's a lot of important people in this room to this university and this football program. But I want to recognize my most important person, my wife, Beth McCook, back there. I, 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 I screwed that up a couple times. She's been here, and I haven't recognized her. And I could not do anything I'm able to do as a person or a human being without her support. And uh, I want to start out by thanking you, babe. Thank you. All right, I'm going to get started. Uh, as we prepare for the 24 season, uh, we continue to face a lot of different challenges. Uh, but this team is committed to finding ways to win. Uh, we're excited about this upcoming season. Uh, our players, our coaches, have put in a lot of hard work through the year in preparing for this season. Uh, with the challenges that we have, the biggest one is we're trying to bring this team, Team 95, together uh, with one common purpose, to bring our team in sync so we'll be able to compete at the highest level. Uh, we've, had a, we've had a couple changes uh, in our graduate assistants, which I'll get to, um, in our coaching staff. Uh, we've had changes within the athletic department. Last year was difficult losing our athletic director at the beginning of the year. Uh, we went through some uh, ath ath athletic leadership by committee. Um, I thought that you know, they did the best they could in, in helping our athletic department progress forward. We did a great search, an extensive search, and we, I think we hired an outstanding director of athletics in Cary. Uh, she's done a tremendous job in her first few weeks on the job, uh, showing direction and leadership, and we're there to support her, and uh, I think she's going to do a great job for our entire athletic program. Our football program uh, is uh, made up of, I think, what I was when we recruit people, when we recruit student athletes, um, the, one of the best things I'm able to talk about is our coaching staff. I think our coaching staff is made up of a lot of great human beings uh, that are tremendous coaches of the game of football. They're tremendous individuals as human beings. I think they're great mentors for our players as husbands, fathers, and as just people who have been leaders in our society. Um, I, must, I want to introduce those guys. If you guys would stand up so everybody can put a name with a fit name with your face, or probably one of the most recognized guys, the most recognized guy on our staff is our assistant head coach, defense coordinator Josh Klein. Our our offensive coordinator, uh, quarterbacks coach Tom Clark. Um, our special teams coordinator, DB coach, recruiting coordinator, uh, Luke Wright. Our defensive line coach, Brian Murray. Linebackers coach, Logan Williams. Wide receiver coach, Jared Keller. All right, our running backs, tight ends coach, graduate assistant, uh, Ashley Dad is an alum plate here, TJ Peer. Our wide receivers coach, uh, Jason Hare. A DB assistant, new to the program, Brody List, came to us from. Brody just finished his playing career at Edinburgh University, and we were able to hire him. Our Director of Football Operations, Jack Elcano. <laughs> Offensive line coach in the first year in the program, Shannon Breen. <laughs> Defensive line coach returning for a second stint with the Rams, Jacob Menard. <laughs> and part of our football support, Connor Crummett. 
All right, all, all, these, all these guys, I see them work tirelessly, uh, put a lot of hours in, make tremendous sacrifices to be able to put what I think is going to be a very good football team. Uh, they go above and beyond uh, what they're asked to do and really what their job description is. We, we have the program we have because of those individuals and the mentorship that they have for our football team. All right, and thank you guys. All right, we're fortunate uh, to be in a place where football um, is, a, is, is a top priority. There's an appreciation for the team on this campus, and it starts at the top with, I think, the greatest president that I've ever been associated with in college athletics. Never been around a uh, president that has more appreciation for our football program and our athletic department than Dr. Mary Hendricks. Thanks. Thank you. Um, you know, I, I talked about Kerry, and I, I'm not going to repeat what I just said. I'm, I'm not trying to get those brownie points, Kerry, but maybe I would. Yeah, yeah, I need them. But Kerry has an awesome staff. Uh, they are, they are, and we are a needy football program, uh, but I think Aaron Lee and Tim Ziegler are two uh, steadfast individuals in our athletic department, and, and we want to show appreciation for them. Thanks, you, Lee and Tim. I think the culture in our athletic department is one that where we support each other. It's a fun place to come to work. It's easy to root and work with other programs on our campus because of the individuals within our athletic department. Uh, the university itself oozes with teamwork. Uh, I think a big part of our success football-wise is the relationships that we have on campus. And there are a lot of people around this campus that support our student athletes. and. Uh, everything from the people in facilities to admissions, financial aid, dining services, residence life, campus police, the business office and, and faculty um, are all individuals that we're able to have an open door policy with that help us help our players get through difficult times if there's a bump in the road in certain areas. We're very fortunate to have a campus that is open to work with each other, have great co um, camaraderie and cooperation with one another. And I think that is a big part of our success on this campus. Um, it's with great enthusiasm and expectations we look forward to the 24 season. One of the um, easiest and most enjoyable things I get to do is when I get a chance to talk about our players. And all the nice things I've just said about everybody else are great, but um, our players are truly inspiring to us and how they operate, how they are working, and the efforts that they put in. Uh, I'm really excited uh, for what they do and who they are. Um, and I, we have some of these guys here today, and I'm gonna, I would like them to stand up so I can, they can be recognized. These are the leaders of our football team. They're the guys, and one of the things I'm about is I, I want accolades, I want success, but I want to have a team that's built like a family unconditional love for one another, where we have each other's back, we handle difficult times, we're able to overcome different things like that, and it's done with these type of athletes that we have here today. Uh, Naeem Alexander is a DB from South Town High School. Ryan Barrick is a four-year starter at punter for us and going to be a true weapon. Clayton Batten is back after a year as a defensive back. He was injured last year, great player. Jack Baxter, defensive line. Matt Benarski, defensive line. James Bell, offensive line. Running back Malachi Brown. Defensive lineman Jack Brutus. Uh, tight end fullback Dustin Fisher. DB Dante Harrison. Offensive lineman, Ty Lucas. Linebacker, Harold O'Neill. Offensive lineman, Wyatt Pelcano. Quarterback, Lech Powell. Tight end, right, fullback, um, Jack Rosnich. Uh, wide receiver, Jeremiah, Jeremiah Taylor. Jeremy, uh, all right, all right. We, you know, 
keys for our success here, success are going to be very clear. Um, one, we need our returners that played at a high level to can you continue to work to get better and achieve more success individually on the field and lead the younger guys. Uh, we need the new players that are going to be in roles for the first time to step up and be able to uh, and, and play at a high level. And for our team to duplicate the success we've had in the past years, um, we're going to have to have all hands, everybody all in. Everybody's going to have to be pushing and pulling the same direction as one team. The expectations here are very high. Um, I think this group of uh, players, coaches, represent this university the right way. I believe that we are a program that the university can continue to be proud of, and we are going to do things that be able to earn, the, earn that uh, trust that you have in us. Uh, we are all proud to be a part of this football program. That's one of the things. This program is very important to each one of those individuals that just stood up. Everybody is going to pull and go in the right direction. Talking about the different position groups, I'm going to kind of go through this um, and give you a roster review. One, I, I, I've been very impressed with our defense and the work that they've put in through spring ball, winter conditioning, through the summer, what our coaches have been able to do to develop the scheme and build the roster that I think is going to be an outstanding defense. And it's going to start up front with returning starters, Jack Baxter, uh, Matt Benarski, and Jack Brutus. Uh, we have transfer a transfer on the defensive line uh, from Delaware, Brett Coca, who is a great energy guy and one of the guys that just brings a lot of uh, just – uh, support to the uh, to that group, I think it's Danny McPherson, who I am. I just think is a great program guy to have in our program. The linebackers uh, are going to be. We've got um, returning starter J.T. Yao Kome. All right. Um, we have Harold O'Neill as a returning starter. We'll have third-year player Cole Scott making significant gains there. Two and and then redshirt freshman Brody Carroll will also be in the mix a, as a linebacker. Uh, transfers Avante Lockhart and um, Joseph Groves. And Joseph Groves is, uh, is a transfer, graduate transfer from William & Mary. Pretty special. His dad played here. Uh, and all those guys, I think, it, and, and that that I just mentioned, are great players. And everybody in this room that's a fan of Shepherd football is going to know, want to know more about each one of those individuals. They are going to do things that I think are going to be special this season. The secondary, uh, you've had a chance to meet Naeem Alexander, Clayton Batten, and uh, Dante Harrison, all great players. Gio Tolbert, who is in his second year with us after transferring to us, I think is going to do a great job in the defensive back end. And one of the most special players I think that we have in our program is a young guy named Miles Greer, uh, being able to see him do all the different things that he does. Defensively, I'm excited. I mean, I think we all should be excited about what they do, what our defense is able to do and able to accomplish. I use this, I use this phrase a lot. I, I coach the offensive line, and when I have a miserable spring ball and a miserable fall camp, that means our team is going to be really good because of all the misery that the defensive guys calls me as the O line coach. So thank you, defense. Um, I, you know, I am sleeping better because of that, but. All right, I think our specialist, um, going into our specialist, we are going to have a, um, a kicking competition that is still being developed between uh, Keith, Keith Baker and Blake Powell. Um, that, that will still be defined as we move through camp and through the next this scrimmage and the following scrimmage and what they do there. But the mainstay in our specialist group is Ryan Barrick. Ryan Barrick has had a great camp. Had a great last, he was great last year. He will be a weapon that also will help us play a really sound game of football and hopefully put opponents' offenses in really difficult spots. Offensively, uh, couldn't be more excited about the wide receiver core. Uh, Cameron Dorner is back. He's having a tremendous camp. Jeremiah Taylor, I think, has had a tremendous year last year, have tremendous high expectations for him. Uh, Cordell Batten, who will be in his second year with us, played as a true freshman. He, he, he will rise to the occasion along with Barry Hill and uh, Thaddeus Stanfield, who transferred to us as a graduate from Edinburgh University and is going to play his last year here with us. Great addition to our program. And I look for a redshirt freshman, Roman Pearson, 
to be able to do some good things. Tight ends and fullbacks. This is a group uh, offensively is key for us. Um, it's led by, obviously, Dustin Fisher, who you've had a chance to meet, uh, and Jack Rosnich, as, as well as Brian Jester. Those guys are going to give us a, a multiple-type offense. they be able to play physical but still not lean to the run game, different things like that. Our running back group, uh, whew, boy, I'll tell you what. Malachi has been tremendous through spring ball and summer camp. Some of the things that he needed to grow after playing running back for the first time in a while, and since, probably since Pop Warner, uh, he, he has gotten so much better, um, and he is going to be a great player in this conference for us. And I think uh, the guy that was a one-two punch with him last year, Jordan Barnett, who, uh, who is a, a big physical type running back, those two guys I think are really going to do some great things in the backfield for us. But I'm also really excited about uh, VMI graduate transfer, uh, Grant, Grant Swinehart. Uh, Grant's come in from VMI uh, after graduating with another year of eligibility, has sh really flashed a lot of great things in camp. So I really feel that we are we have three really good running backs there, which I think um, I think that'll help the quarterback out. I think that'll help a lot of things out when we can run the football and be effective with that. And that kind of transitions right to the offensive line. Uh, we have. Uh, Four fifth-year seniors, I think it is, um, on the O-line, James Bell, um, Curtis Jefferson, Ty Lucas, and Wyatt Pelicano. Uh, you've had a chance to meet a few of those guys today. Um, I think Brandon Carr will be back in his second year as a starter at right tackle, and I look for Josh Cromit to do some good things as a redshirt freshman uh, will be starting for the first time. All right, those guys uh, will help develop the young guys really feel good about the offensive line and where we're at with that. Quarterback-wise, uh, right now, Leck Powell came out of spring ball as a starter. He's holding that position. Uh, and, right, and Ezra Bajan and Sammy Roberts are battling for the number two spot, kind of rolling through that. And we're still developing there. Uh, we're still doing the things that we need to do with it. All right. Um, it's easy for me to sit here and tell you guys like I really like this football team and uh, and, and I can tell you I, I, it's a sincere statement. Uh, this this guy this this group of people are fun to come to work to every day. The effort and the work that they put in uh, make should make all of us proud. And I've been coaching a really long time, and uh, you know when I can step back and I can look at the team and watch how they operate. And it's not just on the playing field, it's in the locker room, it's how they handle the things that the coaches ask them to do. This is a, this is a different group. And I, I, we, I have high expectations for them. Those expectations are only gonna be met with we continue to work hard and don't become complacent. That could, I could sit here and wave everybody's flag. I, we will not, the coaching staff will not let that happen. We're gonna push our guys to be as good as they can be today, but when they wake up tomorrow, we're going to do everything we can do to push them to be better. All right, that's kind of an overview of our football team. Um, you know, pretty, you know, obviously, I can't wait till we start playing. I can't, you know, camp is fun. Everything's fun about what we're doing. This is an enjoyable group to be around. On a side note, we want to send out our best wishes, obviously, to Tyson Bajan and Joey Fisher. Uh, Joey with the Pittsburgh Steelers, Tyson with the Chicago Bears. Uh, the things that they're doing uh, representing this university and this football program are outstanding. Um, our program success, you know, I, I think about, you know, how I feel like we've taken it to a new level. We could not take it to this level without the support of the Gridiron Club. There is no doubt in my mind about that. The things that the Gridiron Club has done and the flexibility and, and the things that they allow us to do as a football program are greatly appreciated. All their supporters, that they things that they do for us, um, they really make it easy to build what I think is a very competitive program, and that is led by Jim Oxer and Lynn Carr, and everybody that supports them. Uh, but if anybody really wants to jump behind Shepherd University football, uh, the Gridiron Club is 100% a great way to do it, and I appreciate everything you guys do, and our program appreciates that as well. <laughs> All right, uh, that, that, that's my notes, and uh, 
if anybody has any questions, and it could be obviously from the press, not the players or coaches, uh, we can do that in team meetings. But anybody else that's here, uh, be glad to talk, answer any questions I can. Coach, yes. uh, a lot of names, both sides of the ball. You just broke down your position group. Is this one of the deepest teams you've coached here at the Desert? I, I deep teams. I, I think we are really deep in a lot of positions that we feel really good about, and kind of as you get into when I'm talking about multiple guys at positions, um, I think that it kind of says itself. Uh, linebacker, running backs, wide receivers, DBs. I think we've got, and we've got some young kids that I wasn't able to mention. I didn't mention that I think are going to be in the mix to give us solid depth across the board, everywhere. Anybody else? Yes, sir. So, Coach, something that you haven't been able to say for a while that you can't say this year is you're bringing back the same offensive play caller since the second straight season. Uh, what has that continuity meant uh, for you through this offseason, through the camp, going into this season? Well, I, you know, Coach Clark and I have been uh, friends for a long time, and uh, we have a lot of fun debating offensive football, but we're, we're in a good spot. Uh, I think that his second year here as offense coordinator, um, we have a good working relationship. I think adding Shannon to it, TJ as well, and Jared being back for his third year, um, I think is very helpful in the consistency. But also, if you look at the offensive line, look at the running backs we have and the receivers we have, we have guys in the room that can be coached. And there, you know, I, I often talk about players, are you a one or an eight? Do you have to hear it one time or eight times? And I think we have a lot of guys in our program that are one to three. How's that? <laughs> There you go. All right. Yes, sir. Excuse me. What made Lexus stand out towards the quarterback coming out of the spring? Uh, the consistency. And, uh, you know, Lex has been in the program for three years. Uh, I think that he's done a nice job of uh, getting the support of his teammates and his teammates believing in him. Um, I think if you just look at the – and we get a chance to see every throw that he makes, every decision he makes. Is he where we want him to be? Absolutely not. We're going to continue to push him to be better. We're also going to help the younger guys continue to grow because competition is good for everything. And we want Ezra and Sammy to push Leck to be better than he thinks he can be. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Coach, uh, one of the characteristics of this freshman class that you guys just signed, it seems as though there's a lot of bigger guys. I mean, Brown from Morgantown, Marine. I mean, was that one of the intentions behind this recruiting class was to get a little bit bigger? And Every time you every time you put a recruiting class together, you want to recruit two things. You want to recruit, recruit big and fast, and I think that's what our coaches focus on: recruiting big and fast. And I think that, and I think, you know, I think what you're seeing is a lack of attention to high school athletes because of the transfer portal. Um, I think a lot of these guys that we, I think we have it better than Division two players in this program, and I think we have a lot of these players because of the transfer portal. And I think that we've, we work our butts off trying to create a culture that this is where good players want to play. Yes, sir, Kaz. Uh, Coach, do you know what Super Reese you're going to be in this year? Yeah. yeah. I, you know what? I know which one we're going to be in early. I don't know where we'll be late. but And then Rick Kozlowski back here. I want to give a shout out to Kaz. He's been. Kaz, hey, Kaz has just retired from the journal, and he has been a steadfast supporter through his reporting and coverage of Shepherd University athletics and our football program. I'm glad to see you here, Kaz, and I hope to see more of you. Keep asking those questions, but thank you for all your support from our program to you. Okay? And you guys are important over here, too. But Kaz is, you know, it's Kaz. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, quick question. Um, we've been hearing chat about Southern Connecticut wanting payback for uh, the crown team you gave a couple of years ago. Uh, do, what can you say uh, or can you speak to uh, what we're looking at to, to go up there? Uh, I, I think we're going to see a well-coached, hard-nosed football team uh, that wants to find a way to win. Uh, we're we're going to have to prepare our best to go play them. I, I have a lot of respect for their football program. Our, our coaches and players do as well. Uh, they're going to get our best effort, and I know we'll get their best effort, and we just got to play fundamentally sound. It is not an easy opener. It is a challenge. We'll be on the road, opener on Thursday night. Uh, we're going to start classes this week. 
kind of getting into our game week preparation. So it will be a challenge. Um, I think that they are a very good football team. Yes, yes, sir. Coach, with, with Ryan returning as the, the two guys you've got competing at, at kicker, you also bring in a transfer long snapper and, and Zach Sanchez, a tremendous returner as well. Do you envision the, the special teams being a strength of this team again? I think if you watch our special teams last year, they were really key in a lot of our success, and I think they're only going to get better. Coach Wright does a tremendous job working extremely hard at putting the most competitive special teams out there. And, you know, I don't want to blow anybody's cover, but we got some. Other, we got a couple guys maybe better than that. Everybody good? All right, well, thank you. Let's go Rams.